Boy, you need to get some relief from the heat when temperatures hit the mid 90s. That was the case today. Very busy at the Whitewater Park in Boise. The people lining up here to uh, try their skills out uh, on the Boise River and doing some surfing here. If this is not uh, your style of cooling off by the water, don't forget you've got all the city pools available. Roaring Springs, of course, open this summer. And don't forget Friday and Saturday night at Roaring Springs. They've got their family slide night, which they're open as the sun goes down, which is awesome when the temperatures are on the hot side the way they have been. So relief from the heat heading into next weekend because we have some sizzling heat coming in for most of next week. Still really green up in the Sun Valley area. You see the clouds. No rain here, but boy, just north of Sun Valley, we had good to a bout of showers and storms, which I'll show you. McCall had uh, some rain early this morning, uh, especially just north and west of town. Then getting to 78, beautiful blue skies. Everybody's out on the lake enjoying getting ready for a nice weekend. 82 uh, Friday, 82 Saturday, and Sunday, 77. It's not showing up in a lot of charts, but I'm a little concerned about the potential for a shower or storm and some gusty wind Saturday evening. So if you're going out on Payette Lake and you're saying, hey, I'm going to be out there at 5 or 6 o'clock, just be aware of the weather because there could be some gusty breezes that come in on Saturday evening. Just keep that in mind. Redfish Lake uh, temperatures today getting up into the actually into the 80s today. Beautiful. But look at the cloud cover. We didn't have the storms here, but again, northeast of this location is where all the thunderstorms have been occurring. 84 Friday, 85 on Saturday, and then down to 78, a little more delightful during the day on Sunday. So this is what I was talking about here. You see Stanley here. We can kind of draw a little reverse U here, and uh, these were all the storms storms are pushing. The uh, Storm Prediction Center has a severe thunderstorm watch for this region and just into the, the county where Salmon is and that's the location where everything is occurring right now. We might get a stray storm or two uh, forming here. Uh, you can see already just some isolated showers trying to push through. It'll be those clouds that produce a little verga that it doesn't reach the ground and it just doesn't really do anything. So this is what the severe storm, uh, the storm Prediction Center put out, the marginal risk for severe weather. And you can see it highlighting pretty much right where those strong thunderstorms are tracking to the northeast. That's today. Tomorrow it shifts a little further to the north. So southern Idaho out in the clear, still a chance of some storms. And we go into Saturday. Uh, you see the threat pushing to the northeast. But again, I'm just concerned here about along Highway 95. Again, a chance for some thunderstorms later in the day. There you see those showers and storms are very isolated, pushing by. A little cloud cover tomorrow morning, a lot of sunshine on Saturday, I should say Friday, and then Saturday, later in the day, this is that little line that might form. There's some cool air that's blasting on through, and that can cause some gusty wind, and that's why I think everybody could see some wind later in the day on Saturday. Forecast for this evening, a little cloud cover, actually not as much as it's showing right here, but temperatures in the 90s, the heat continues this evening. Most places won't get any storms. Forecast for tomorrow, that cloud cover, again, early in the morning, if you're out for that early morning walk, then mostly sunny and very very hot. High temperatures warming to 95 degrees. It's going to be on the hot side for everybody in the valley tomorrow. 92 in Garden Valley, Pine and Featherville in the mid 80s. And once again, uh, we have the chance of the cloud cover and a slight chance for a shower tomorrow morning in the McCall area throughout Valley County. And then we'll see the sunshine later in the day. Mid 80s as well for Stanley and Ketchum with the thunderstorms again developing to the north and to the east. Extended forecast, mid 90s tomorrow, mid 90s Saturday, and a break in the heat comes in for Sunday. And even into Monday, Monday morning is actually going to be really nice as it cools down. But wow, the heat is on 104 Tuesday, 103 Wednesday, 101 on Thursday. It's going to be a hot week next week.